Good evening. You are listening to LPJ. Love, peace, and joy. With it, Mr. and Mrs. Sweet yes, Ben. Yes, uh, it is a great night. We just want to thank you again for stopping in. This, uh, I, I didn't get a chance to get here this week. Been tied up, busy with the grandkids. You know how that is. But tonight, God has blessed us to get together again to praise Him and lift Him up and just thank Him for taking care of us this week. He has had a, His merciful hand over us, whether you know it or not. Yes, He has. Uh, he's kept us, and and He's been good. And and uh, tonight is a night we had a chance to get in and and get with you and and and, and praise in His name and raise His name up, and lift Him up high. And I just want to thank you for stopping in and tuning in putting uh, things to the side to sit and and uh, and praise him with us. So here we are here, ready to lift him up and just thank him and put him on the highest and praise him and thank him for what he's done for us, you know, uh, for last week, this week, week before last, uh, all this year. That's right. So We just truly want to thank him so much tonight for what he continues to do for us. Yes, because he's always taking care of us, always holding his merciful hand over us and, and taking care of us. Yes, he is. And tonight, the title of the show is Praise and Worship Hour. So we're going to praise the Lord and we're going to worship him in spirit and in truth. We just do want to remind you, we do have a, a request night and it's 618 319 Four three four three. You can feel free to call, make a request. If we got it, we'll play it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So just feel free to do whatever your heart uh, tell you to do. That is right. And we're gonna go on with the scripture. With and this is in Hebrews, chapter twelve, verse one and two. Therefore, let us also, seeing we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run this pa- run this race with patience that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy of who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising its shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. So Amen. just lay aside those weights and we're going to run the race with patience so yeah. we can meet our Heavenly Father. Yes, because he's coming back and he's coming back to get his children, his church without a wrinkle, without a spot, That's without right. a scratch. So we need to think about getting ready because look around you and see what's happening. There's war everywhere. There's war everywhere and and it's a war against God's children. It's like a war zone. That's right. So, hey, you got to get ready and stay ready. Amen. You heard that on LPJ. And it's love, love, peace, peace and, and joy. joy. <laughs>
stand in line just to receive one. But while you're waiting on the miracle you want, don't forget the miracle you want. truth can change you. What will truth do to you? I just want to be happy. But if I keep on doing the things that keep on bringing me pain, there's no one else I can blame. If I'm not happy, wasting time, but now I can see the biggest end of me, it was me. So I'm not happy. Cry yourself. to 
inside of you that say, I just wanna be happy. Now, if you really mean that, open up your heart and say, Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're tired of going in circles, let me hear you say, yeah, 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 yeah. Tired of making the same mistakes, let me hear you say, yeah, 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 yeah. But now's your chance.
talking and everything when God have stepped in. Oh, when God gets a hold of your life, you become a new creature. That is right. And like my man say, a new way. A, a new, new way, way of talking, a new way of walking. walking. Oh, man. A new become, way of praising. Yes, a new way of talking, a new Amen. way. You don't do the things you used to do. You become a new creature in Christ. Yes, you do. I'm telling you, and what a new, a new beginning. That's what a it is. A brand new beginning. A brand new beginning. I tell you, I like that. That that that's the truth. A new way. That's right, because it's right on time. It's all on time. Yes, it is. I tell you, we need that. Mm-hmm. You, we need more of that. People need to get right. They need to get right. Get God. right. Get ready. That's right, because time is winding up, and it's winding up fast. If you're not paying attention to what's happening around you, oh boy, I tell you. It's not good. It's not good because things are going fast. Things are happening real, real fast. I mean, we're so busy with our everyday life that we're not paying attention to what's the happening. The time is going to pass you by. Yeah, we, it, you say, oh, well, that's happening over there. That's not happening here. But you know what? It's not going to always happen right up under your nose. That's right. It's going to happen, but it's happening. And the Bible didn't say it would happen here or it would happen next door. He said it would happen. When these things come to pass, my children, Mm -hmm. the time or near. Even at the door. Even at the door knocking. And you heard that right here on LPJ. And that's love, Love, peace, peace, and and joy.
I don't know about you, but I really love the law. And sometimes that's all I can say. And listen, I want you to join in on this song. It goes something like this. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. That's all it is. Yes, I love you. Mm -hmm. How I love you. I know some of y'all want to be entertained. We're going to worship in here tonight. on the inside of me. 
I'm going to do my best to walk up right before you to do what you tell me to do. I'm going to open your Bible day and night and I'm going to do my best to live it. Oh, Lord, because I love you, Lord. Not just with the waving of the hand, but by the way I walk. Not just with my lips in the church sanctuary. But every day of my life in my conversation. I really, I really, I really, I really, I really, Oh, or not Depends on what lung disorder that you've got Chest 
cost if you're in the red side. So be your case may cause the patient to die or a heart enlargement on the right. Making it hard for the body to fight. Sadly, it's a growing sensation for 56,000 hospitalizations, including 50% from 15 years ago. 60% are women that are diagnosed from a hospital with this for heart failure. So if you're concerned, tell your doctor. This is the link, see it down right below. And make sure your heart's not beating slow. Chest pain, weight loss, conquer fatigue. Swelling in the feet, anxiety. If you experience daily release, maybe it's pulmonary heart disease. Maybe it's pulmonary heart disease.
in your life right now. There may be some mess in your life right now. But God said he's going to give you peace. All God got to do is speak to your soul. All you got to do is speak to your situation. And things are changed. When you speak to your situation, things are changed. You got to believe the people of God. That he'll never leave you to forsake you. He said, he said, I'll carry you in your soul. I'll carry you in your way. He said, peace I'm going to leave with you. So don't you worry.
tonight I hope that you enjoy it yourself uh, uh, I, I just love worship and praising the Lord and we'll be back tomorrow and be back with some jazz for sure I will Amen. Uh, some nice jazz smooth jazz so we truly thank you for joining us tonight for the praise and worship hour and we got another scripture for you to meditate on tonight and that is in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8 don't be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Amen. So we want to sow to the Spirit and not the flesh. And sow good seeds so you'll reap good things. Amen. There it is. And he who sowed. Bad seeds will get bad seeds. Will reap bad things. Yep. It have been found out to be true, very true. That's right. We all yeah. have lived it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you haven't lived it, keep living. There you go. I guarantee you, you will see what you sow, so you reap. Amen. And you'll reap a lot more than you sow. That's right. You will believe me. Take a hand of beans out there in your backyard and just throw them out there and, and watch them grow. And see, don't you get more than a pot of beans? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. So we want to thank God for letting us meet again together tonight as brothers and sisters in Christ to join together and praise him and lift his name up for those that know Jesus 
love Jesus, have a relationship with Jesus, and praise him. As we always do, always have to go out and thank him in the right way. So I have any Father, we come before you tonight thanking you, Lord, for this night. Thanking you, Jesus, for keeping your merciful hands over us today. Lord, we know that you was with us. We know that you guided our day because we are all still here and all in one piece. We know, Lord, that you kept us and you watched over us and our families. Lord, we thank you for our jobs because you kept those. Mm. There are so many people out of work, so many people with no homes to go to, so many people that didn't get a meal today, so many people with no place to go to. But Lord, you kept us. All that we woke up with this morning, we still have, only because of your grace and mercy. Lord, you have been good to us, and we know we don't deserve it. But Father, you love us so that all your promises you gave us, you have kept them. And we're not worthy, Father, because we don't keep any. We make them, but we don't keep them. Lord, you are just God because you said if we repent, you will forgive us. And we're not worth that. But Father, we thank you for being so merciful. We thank you, Lord, for forgiving us for all our wrong. And Father, we come to you tonight asking you to forgive us for our wrong. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our hidden sins. Forgive us, Father, for our sins. Forgive us for the wrong that we've done. For anything that we may have said or done or thought or any way that we have acted in this day, Lord, that was displeasing to you. Father, we ask you to pour your Holy Spirit out on us that we may be like you. Father, that we may learn to forgive. That we may learn to give as you have given to us. Father, we ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit, that we may learn to love as you have loved. We are the most selfish human being, Father, that we ever created. And we ask that, Father, you give us your Holy Spirit, that we may esteem others more than we do ourselves. We ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit, Father, that we may think of others before we think of ourselves. That we'll be willing to give our lives and not worry about whether we're going to get the next phone, but know and have the faith that you will take care. Father, we ask you for your Holy Spirit out when we will forgive and not hold grudges. Father, we ask that you give us your Holy Spirit to be humble, Give us your Holy Spirit, Father, that we be more caring. Lord, we just want to be like you. We want to be like you, so when you come, we'll be ready to go home. We know that we're no better than dirty, filthy rags, but through you, Father, all things are possible. So, Father, we ask for you to pour that Holy Spirit all over us, our families, our friends, our neighbors, our enemies. It's needed so bad, Father. This world is so corrupt. It's doomed. We need your love. We need your Holy Spirit. We know, Father, one day we're going to wake up and it'll be gone. And we'll be stuck right where we're at. Moses, holy, let them stay holy. Father, please. Give us what we need. We ask you, Father, in your holy name, and let your will be done here on earth as it is in your kingdom. Amen. Amen. I have the Father, and truly thank you for such a blessed day. Thank you for allowing us to be here to enjoy a day with our family, our friends, 
And we truly thank you for your blessings bestowed upon each and every one of us. Again tonight, Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of anything that we've said or done or the way we acted that was unpleasing in your sight. Always, Lord, we want to come surrender those little weights that so easily beset us to you. We ask you to cleanse us, renew our mind, renew that steadfast spirit within us. And again, Lord, we thank you each and every day for your Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit leads and guides us each and every day to all truth and to make the right decisions to do your will. We just want to continue to pray for what is going on over there in France and all over the world. So much evil is going on. Help us, Lord, to continue to pray for them that we may continue to be encouraged no matter how much and what we see, Lord. We know that you are a mighty God that we serve and that you are still on the throne, and we thank you. Again, we want to continue to pray for those that do not know you. We know people are concerned about what's going on around the world, but as we keep our hand in your hand and we seek first your kingdom, we know that everything else will be added unto us, and you will protect us. And you will give us the strength and the courage that we need in that time. And you give us peace that surpasses all understanding. We always want to give you the praise and the honor and the glory. And thank you each and every day for this program that we may continue in witnessing for you and letting the world know about you. We thank you for your peace, your joy, your strength, your love, and your protection. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. And may God bless you all and your family. And take care until we see you again. Amen. And may the windows of heaven open and pour upon you a bundle of blessings. And have a good night. Thank you.